What's he doing up there? Don't know. Get out of the way. Why? Yeah, my name is uh, Hugh Cooney. I'm 26 years old. I'm from uh, Ballymore Eustace, County Kildare. I'm an artist operating in Dublin at the moment. I'm currently doing a show in uh, Pygmalion on South William Street. And. <laughs> we go live now to the Cool News Newsroom with your host, Martin Cullen, bringing you the best in everyday Cool News. Every day, on the hour, every day, today. <laughs> Well, it's actually less of a story oh, this week, Martin, and uh, more of a fantasy type story. Oh, that, no, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Continue. Yeah, well, I was just thinking about it. Imagine if, like, there was a really big storm outside, and then, like, Claire Russell's family were driving uh, past, and then their car broke down outside our house, and then her dad came to knock on the door to ask for mechanical assistance for the car, and then dad was like, no, we can't do it, we can't risk it in this storm. I consider myself a comedian, and there's this strong element of comedy, but uh, I uh, predominantly consider myself an artist. That's why wouldn't Claire be asked to stay in my room? Because when her cousin Patrick came over, you rubbed your mickey up against his That's not true. <laughs> shut up. That's not true. Shut up. true. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Well, I'm sorry about that, folks. It's, uh, it's quite clear. He's the got onus is on the artist when they're everything. showing you anything to make it interesting or to entertain you and to, or to engage you. And I think that uh, humour is a great tool for doing that. Yesterday was one of the hardest days of my life. The babysitter uh, system parody keep situations right almost caricatures to the point where they're completely ridiculous and uh, blow them out of proportion. Just everyday kind of inconsistencies and in what I find in like kind of uh, television, the way the people approach things and kind of the falseness of different things. I turn up the volume on situations like that, and uh, in that sense, I am. Yeah, interested in sh in shocking the audience. For example, I had like a, a, a video called "Yes, Even Your Mother," and it's like one woman ringing another woman, and she's on the toilet, and uh, she's saying that she's doing a poo, and uh, there's like this shot when she goes into it turns into a kind of a loop where you can see her underwear, and I just thought of that as an idea, as a as an image. I thought that that was like you know quite shocking, you know. I was going to work that into something and then just it's kind of um it's kind of like accepting you know like you know it, we all have to do all these like bodily functions and there's there's no you know we all have sex etc and we all have to like it's me coping with the, the fact that you know like that's a reality at the moment dad don't want me in the house anymore i'm a wild bird i'm not in an avery anymore it's better this way. A lot of the videos I make are kind of uh, powerful people in situations of power and then kind of you've got kind of childlike characters. So I suppose I deal with that quite a lot. I did a, a, a piece recently where I was, uh, there's this kind of magpie that lives in this area and he's kind of, uh, he's kind of like handicapped and you know, he's, he's real uh, messy looking and like you can see him kind of eating bits of food and stuff around here and it's just kind of getting into the mindset of what you know what it's like to be him so i was kind of going around with the camera at full length and i was uh, walking slowly with the uh, tripod and walking really slowly but like moving my arms up and down with the tripod so that when i later on I was going to speed it up 
but I was doing it slowly so that the each up and down repetition would kind of you know look like frantic kind of wing beats of a of a bird. <laughs> formula would basically be just to, to keep things uh, kind of low tech um, and just it's it's more about the concept or the it's more about the concept or the idea rather than the actual uh, format in which people are getting it. I, I'm, I'm interested in art now uh, being as a part of like uh, public spaces and spaces that spaces that we would actually use a pub or a nightclub is, you know, they're everywhere. And I like the idea of art on the internet. And I've had problems with censorship on YouTube, um, which was pretty saddening. I had like, um, I had three videos that had like warnings. And you know, when you get warnings, it's, you get, uh, they get a public warning on them that if someone's going to view it, it has like, confirm you're over 18 years old. And there were three, three of my videos that had that on it. And they removed one of my videos, which was Evil Mother. It's, it's all insinuated. There wasn't actually any kind of like, you know, kind of pornographic content or anything like that. It was simulated just by positioning the camera like here and then putting the camera like with the shot like that. I was insinuating that this kind of handicapped kid was giving this, uh, businessman a blowjob but like there's no they're both me you know and it's clearly not actually happening it's insinuated which is what I find hilarious about it. I think it's I think it's yeah forcing people to acknowledge that you know th these things are a reality and you know I think that we should openly address these kind of situations um, and I think when people are like, oh, that's, t that's terrible or whatever, I th I, I, it's terrible, like, you know, what, what position do you have, like, what right do you have to maybe do that? Or like, you know, Ugh. if somebody feels like that about it, then I would say that they're not a dre I'm, I'm, putting deep thought into that scenario and I'm, I'm really trying to figure it out and figure out how how both parties are affected and what, what what's their state of mind when they're behaving like that when they're doing that and I would say that it's I'm actually you know addressing the situation and confronting it whereas a lot of people would choose to ignore it and pretend that it really doesn't go on my audience uh, f is a lot, a lot of different people. Like a good, lo a good lot of my own friends and my own circle would come down to see the show. Um, <clears throat> more recently, I've had more people who have heard about it over Facebook or YouTube, and people who I don't, I, people who I have, I've never met before, and that's it's really interesting to meet new people who are who are interested in the work. The best thing about seeing him is that when people who don't know anything about him or seen his videos see him for the first time and like the reaction is always amazing. Like people think they know what's going on. And He's a strange beast, um, but uh, thoroughly enjoyable all the same. Um, I think he's quite excessive in what he does, so uh, that makes always for interesting reactions when other people are uh, viewing it. So yeah, I've got two thumbs up. I love coming down here on Mondays. I'm enthused by uh, the responses that I get and. It, um, it just spurs me on to keep making more work. I just want to uh, entertain people and I, I, I just want to push the boat out as much as I can with making new work as opposed to, um, as opposed to making money. But I, 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 like everybody, I have to make money. So I've got to find a happy medium between being commercial and um, my work. Sure, it's not the smartest move, man. Poor old James is quite sick of bent of a horse's hoof. Bent of a horse's hoof. If I see somebody fall over, it's pretty much the funniest thing. 